Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Catherine. You didn't want me being the substitute singer, I guarantee you. So we'll start out. Surprise! First of all, we do wish Pastor Dale well and hope he feels better soon. Secondly, you know how you're brand loyal to something and you always buy that brand and always buy that brand and one day you're just forced to get the cheap substitute? Just call me Acme. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the scriptures because obviously what Dale selected didn't select, pick what I got three minutes notice to give you. So I'm going to start with the God wink of this morning. I pulled out of my drawer about five different shirts and left this one in the drawer. And I'm looking at all of them and God said, get the blue one, get the blue one. And it's the one that is based on 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16. Rejoice always. Pray continually, give thanks in all circumstance, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. In the bad times, in the stressful times, find the joy. There's always bad times, and there's always that little kernel of joy. First Chronicles. 1627, splendor and majesty are before him, strength and joy are his dwelling place. In the hard time, God will give you strength, and in that strength, you will see the joy. So, it wasn't the world's hardest time, but over the last week and a half, there was a little tiny bit of stress going on. Well, maybe it was the last month. Pastor Dale came and said, hey, I got a good idea. I'm his office manager. Sometimes that kind of makes me kind of like, uh, uh-huh. He pointed out that we have some young ones who may be ready for confirmation. Let's do confirmation. So we divvied up our assignments. We eventually got all of them done and found out who would like to be a confirmant. Then it's okay, assumptions on my part. I'm thinking these folks start school early this year, August 23rd to be exact. They probably want to get done with that before they start having to do homework and going to band practice and showing up for, you know, all the activities that start occurring with school. So I'm trying to rush them through. Hey guys, I got a good idea. Where Pastor John had an hour, of me an hour meeting each week for eight weeks. How about we do two hours of meeting for three meetings and then I give you three pieces of homework. Yeah, you know, strength are in his dwelling place, right? Okay, so we went through about plan A, plan B, plan C. God does have a sense of humor. Even our cross, I don't know if you, some of you have been here a while, remember the two shadow crosses, the other two crosses that were on Calvary's Hill that day? Well, many years ago, we had to get new lamps because the old lamps just, didn't want to work anymore. When we got the new lamps, we got rid of those two crosses, but we got the emoji smile. I don't know if you see it, but once you do see it, you can never unsee it. So God does have a sense of humor. So I had various communications about how this won't work, how may maybe this isn't our time. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. So on my day off, I was sitting there doing nothing because it was my day off. And God said, now, you're going to hear a laughter somewhere near the front of the sanctuary in a few minutes because 
He doesn't know quite how this all transpired. God whispered, hey, David's got a video camera. And it's not like he's busy. <laughs> he only works 60 hours a week. And now he's commuting two of those hours, Monday and Friday, the two best days of any work week commute, I would say. And he only, you know, spends hours and hours editing, filming, editing, and posting what he already does. He won't mind. In strength and joy, you find God. So the other funny part is, I told the parents before I told David that I got an idea. Let's do this as an online self-paced course. Instead of meeting three evenings or, or, you know, whatever, three days for two hours at a time, I will videotape each individual section, post them, and you guys can work through them at your speed. I got so many hearts and happy faces and thumbs up that I felt obligated to tell David. Because he won't mind. <laughs> I often do that to him because um, God whispers to me before he whispers to God. <laughs> so, okay. So I am very thankful in the strength and the great humor of my husband because yesterday we click, quickly wrote scripts, we ad-libbed, and we videotaped 10 of the 13 or 14 segments that we are going to be doing. And he even found it in him, who, he who is not a morning person, found time to get up and edit two of those. He stayed up late editing, editing some, but he edited two more before we came to church. And I am pleased to tell you that we have three compromands who will be taking the self-paced Dumfries United Methodist 2021 confirmation course. And yes, those of you up front, you are indeed seeing an apple and a tube of toothpaste and a little tiny food storage lid because I couldn't find my small paper plates. And it is up to you to wonder what these young folks are going to be learning. But I truly hope that it is powerful. I got too many things on my stand, okay? All right, so, so, so with these plan B moments, with these unexpected changes, Another God wink occurred today. Lori asked us to stand up and join her in the call to worship. Jim, if you wouldn't mind popping that back up on the screen, I'm particularly interested in the last line. That last line, and if it's up, if you wish to say it with me together, the one where it's let us celebrate, I would love for you to join me with great joy and exuberance. It's me you're talking about here. Out, outdo me. Outdo me. Let us celebrate. Nothing can stop the church. That is so powerful to me. Nothing can stop the church. Our pastor who doesn't feel, well, oh my gosh, we all have to go home. We can't have church. Well, you're not going to get church as good, but you're going to get the Acme version. That's okay. We are worshiping. We are celebrating. We are honoring the struggles that we have. I'm not belittling the struggles. They are there. And perhaps it is a, one of the gifts I have been given. I always seem to find that kernel of joy, that humor that helps me get through it. The most devastating events in my life, there's a funny story behind them all that I can tell you. I won't tell you today. But 
here we are. We planned, God laughed, and in that laughter, I found some laughter, and I hope I was able to share that laughter with you. I hope I am able to share that excitement with you that I have for the confirmation students. And I would like to close this with a prayer for them. Unfortunately, I did not have time to have it projected, but here it is. Prayer for your confirmation students. Gracious and holy God, please bestow on Sean, Leah, and Luke intellect to understand you, reason to discern you, diligence to seek you, wisdom to find you, a spirit to know you, a heart to meditate upon you, ears to hear you, eyes to see you, a tongue to proclaim you, a way of life pleasing to you, a way, a patience to wait for you, and perseverance to look for you. Strengthen Sean, Leah, and Luke with your gifts of grace to love and serve as disciples of Christ. Fill Leah, Luke, and Sean with the joy of your presence. Increase Luke, Leah, and Sean with the fruits of your spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of love, patience, and gentleness, and the spirit of wonder and true holiness. Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, amen. And with that, I thank you for your patience and understanding. You know how I said you weren't? Go now, and in your struggles, may you please find the sweet kernels of joy that are God's love, hugs, and understanding to let you know you will be given the strength to get through your, your struggles. In the name of God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go in peace.